Hello and welcome back. This is Renee. And we're going to do a message for your person. So do me a favor and take a deep breath. Think about the person on your mind. And focus. Spirit, give me a message for my collective for their greatest and highest good. Need time to heal. Right now I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you, it's about me. Okay, so I feel like your person needs space and time to heal. I feel like they're working on themselves. And when I see that card, I also feel like there's someone in your energy. I feel like this may be a friend, uh, but this is a friend who wants to be more, right? This is someone in your energy who has been in your energy for a while. And... <clears throat> They're feeling like they want to be more. They want to be more than just friends. The next card that has come out is soon. I'm going to contact you soon. I feel like there's been no contact in this situation. I feel like you haven't spoken with this person in a while. Um, I'm feeling like there was some sort of betrayal. And when I say betrayal, I feel like that could be someone else and their energy. I feel like they're currently in someone else's face, right? They're currently spending time with someone else. And you could have seen that as a betrayal. So I feel like you may have cut this person off. But this this person is going through a karmic cycle at the moment to where they they need to learn a few lessons as far as love is concerned. Because I feel like this person, <clears throat> this person who cares about you, but they're not quite sure how to deal with the situation because they're in an energy of not totally understanding your connection, not totally understanding why you linger in their mind like you do. They don't understand how they're seeing you everywhere they go, you know, or they look for you and the current partner that they have. And there's no comparison. There's nothing that they can do to turn their heart away from you, but there's also nothing that they can do to turn their heart towards you. It's like at the moment you are off limits because they aren't prepared to love you and the ability that you're expecting. I hope that makes sense. We have the future. I daydream about our future together. Going on adventures, growing old together. I want it all. And I feel like you are kind of lingering in this person's mind. There, There's no escape from it. And I feel like this betrayal that your feeling from this person cuts you really deep, right? Um, I feel like it seemed very intentional how they treated you or what they did. 
but what I'm getting from spirit is that this person has a lot to do with. This person has a lot of healing to do. They're unaware of how to cope with the feelings that they feel. I have you feel like home. Being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring so much happiness and peace. Yeah, I feel like when you're with this person, they have a feeling of home, of being safe. I feel like this person actually confided in you. Maybe some things that they have never told anyone else because of the simple fact that you feel like home. You feel like you are a safe place for this person. And they've never experienced that with anybody. They could have had a wife in the past or many, many relationships. But you are the first that actually opened their heart enough to reveal certain things. And I feel like it has this person baffled because they don't really know how to approach you with what they're feeling. So I feel like this person may have stuck you in a friend zone or they may have ended contact with you altogether all and or maybe kept you at text, kept you on read for a very long time, I think. Um, I'm really feeling like this person, because they don't know how to approach you, they're not able to truly open up and tell you how they feel with you. Even though you may have had spurts of vulnerable moments with this person, I feel like they hold back a lot. They hold back their feelings. I feel like this person has never really told you how they truly feel about you. Even though you have gotten those vulnerable moments with them, you, be, you even may have had intimate moments with this person. Um, but I'm feeling like... This person really doesn't understand how they can shut everyone else out of their life, but they can't shut you out. No matter how they try, no matter what they do, you always seem to come back. It always comes back to you, right? So this, your person, oh, uh, yeah. They want to have a conversation. There are so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? Your person wants to have a conversation with you, but they don't know where to start. They don't know how to approach you after they have <laughs> betrayed you in such a way. They may feel a lot of jealousy. They may feel like you've totally moved on. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. So I feel like this person may see other people with you. They may feel like you have other options. Like you have moved on with your life. Even though it seemingly looks like they've moved on with theirs, they really haven't. I feel like this person is trying very hard to fill the space in their heart that has been a void because of you. And even though it may look like this person is with someone else or happy or posting things on social media, I feel like this person isn't happy at all. Behind closed doors, this person is spending a lot of time alone. I feel like the person that they are currently with, they're actually keeping at arm's length. They're not letting them get close. 
Uh, so the way it looks from the outside is totally not what it is in reality. The 3D is a total illusion when it comes to this person trying to fill the void where you used to be. They're having a very hard time. This person could be dealing with health issues, financial issues. I feel like this person is, yeah, fantasizing a whole lot. When they dream, they dream about you. You are my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you and use them for inspiration. I want you. Yeah, I feel like this person fantasizes about their life with you. They can't move past it. You're not delusional. It's not all in your head. They do think about you, but they're holding it very close to their chest. They're keeping their thoughts and feelings very private and safe, right? They, I, I feel like if this person talks about you, they only talk about you with one or two people. And there's not very many people that this person trusts. So I feel like everything that they're feeling, they're like burying very deep within because they don't know how to process or control their feelings. And no one compares. No matter how many people I've met, experiences I have, there is no one who compares to you. And I feel like this person may have been dating around, may have been trying to find another experience or another relationship that makes them feel the way that your relationship made them feel. And they can't find anybody who brings to the table what you do. They can't find anybody who understands them or makes them, makes their heart pound the way that you do. So this person is totally at a loss and they have some things that they need to heal. As I'm doing this, some cards just exploded on the floor. We'll start with the first. Tears. When I think about you, I cry. I feel like this person has shed many tears over you. And if you are connected with this person in any way, I feel like you can feel it. If you're suddenly having bursts of emotional episodes, bursts of tears without even understanding why, I, I feel like you're feeling intensely your person's energy. You're feeling all of their emotions. And your person wants you to know that they feel like they're not good enough for you. You deserve all the good things in the world. And right now, I'm not in a space to give you that type of connection you deserve. Live your life and let me go. And I feel like your person feels like you just don't deserve anyone like them. I feel like your person is totally heartbroken because they can't be what you need them to be at the moment. And it's very upsetting to your person, right? Because they're like dreaming. My dreams, I've been dreaming about you. In my dreams, we are so free and in love. I wish I could stay there forever. 
And I feel like when your person closes their eyes, they don't want to open them, you know, because that, that's a place where they feel free. They feel safe. They feel love. And I feel like that's what you bring to this person. You bring love. Love like they've never felt before. And it scares the hell out of them, right? They, they know that if they totally let you in and they're not fully healed, if they totally let you in, you're going to kill them. Because one thing that you do is going to totally break their heart. And I feel like this person is, has been on the last heartbreak for a very long time. This person has been used and taken advantage of. This person has been mistreated in so many ways. So many ways that maybe you're not aware of. And I feel like this person has been on their last heartbreak and you would totally finish them off because they care about you so deeply and so intensely. And it makes them nervous. You make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I am not sure what to say or how to act around you. And I feel like your person is just totally dumbfounded. They're just totally dumbfounded because they don't know how to react around you. And if you notice, if you, if you are around this person in any shape, way, or form, if you notice from a distance facial expressions, fear, you know, when they see you, maybe they hurry up and move when you arrive. Or maybe they try to move away from you as you come in. This may be someone that you work with. It may be someone that you go to school with. It may be someone that's in your social group. But I feel like this is a friend who wants to move into lovers, but they just don't know how. They just don't feel like it's the right time. I am overwhelmed with responsibilities and I don't have the time and energy for a relationship, you know? And I feel like this person is just so overwhelmed by these feelings. They're so overwhelmed by just the thought of you because in their mind, you linger. You haunt their thoughts when they're awake, when they're asleep. If you're able to see this person, it's so hard for them to concentrate. They may stumble on their words. They may, like, not be able to focus, not be able to complete simple tasks, right? I feel like this person is very distracted. So they've gotten to this point to where they're trying to replace the feeling that they have for you because the feelings that they have for you is so strong. They know that they're not able to do anything else, right? And I feel like their distraction with maybe someone else or with another career or with some kind of responsibility they're able to kind of move past it just for a moment, but they're not able to replace it. That's one thing, my, my beautiful collective, that's one thing about it. They will never be able to replace it. And even though they've tried to cut ties, even though they have tried to disconnect, they're not able to. This is not something that you can disconnect from. But this is a love so strong that they don't know how to feel about it. Right? And I feel like, my, my beautiful collective, I feel like you understand this because you feel the same way. I feel like you're going through a lot of the same thoughts. A lot of the same feelings. A lot of the same nervousness. And trying to distract yourself as well. So when this person is being overwhelmed, I feel like you can feel 
that feelings as well. I feel like your person is giving you little tugs. You know, you may feel some sexual energy at certain times. Um, you may feel a, a lot of heart energy at certain times. But I feel like you've noticed the energy shift. And you've noticed that the intensity has moved away from you. And it, that energy had to move somewhere. That energy has moved onto them. So where they were running from you before, hoping that you would chase them, now the tables have turned. And now they're getting all the intense feelings and emotions that you were getting in the beginning. Hmm. Showing out. Your person may be acting like they don't care about what's happening between you, but they do. I just want to appear unbothered, right? Your person appears unbothered, but trust me, they are totally dealing with so much. Think back to how you were feeling at first. They're feeling that plus more because of something that they're unaware of. That's what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. And I will see you on the next one. Many blessings to you. Love and light.